Hi, I'm Gil Whist, and welcome back to another T-Square tutorial. Today's episode, Shapes and Modifiers. T-Square, for the architects of Minecraft. All right, now that you know the basics, we're ready to use our first tool, Square by Center. I'm just gonna go ahead and target that orange block and right click and boom, now it's magenta. Of course, that's not very impressive. In order to do more, you need a larger stack size. So if I go to two, it gets a little bit bigger. If I go to three, it gets a little bit bigger. And four, even bigger than that. If I wanna get rid of those, I can sneak left click with undo. And now I can swap over to the circle to explain how this works a little bit better. So if I walk up here and start at the outside edge and work my way inwards, one, two, three, four. The radius of that circle is four and the stack size is four. Now, I know that squares don't exactly have a radius, but it's the same basic idea. The nice thing about these is it doesn't matter where you click, it will always try to get the closest face to you. And if you need to pull it up one, you just shift click. Boom, done. We've also got a cube and a sphere. Let me clean up some of these first. So there is a sphere and there is a cube. Let's move on over here. By default, these all replace all blocks all of the time. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to glass and right click on that orange block. Boom, you can see that it is all glass, but you don't always want that. So I'm going to sneak right click on that log to get a replace block state with my eyedropper tool. I'm also going to make my cube a little bit bigger and I'm gonna get this replace mode tool and I'm going to left click it to set it to replace mode M, M for material. Now I just press F to throw that over my off hand and you will see that it replaces only the wood. Of course the tree doesn't like that so I'm gonna put that back real quick. Now I'm just gonna quickly go through the rest of the options here with a shift left click there. I get to MX, pop it back into my off hand slot and now everything that's not wood will go pop it off my slot. Right click gets me an S, and remember I had saved birch, so only the birch will be changed now. S is for block state. Oh, it would help if I put that on my offhand. Always gotta remember to put it back on your offhand. There, just the birch changed. Undo. Now I'm going to do a shift right click, put it on SX, which means exclude that particular block state, and so only the birch will be not changed. Boom. The last modifiers that I want to talk to you about are the empty bucket and the milk bucket. The empty bucket only changes air. Boom, perfectly preserved in glass. The milk bucket changes anything that is not air. There's also a water bucket and lava bucket that target water and lava appropriately, but we don't need to worry about those today. Catch you next time. 